Hello and welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial on using multiple physics in ComSol to model the diffusive mixing of two species under a laminar flow. To start, we'll select Model Wizard, 2D, and then our relevant physics, which can be found under Fluid Flow, Single Phase Flow, Laminar Flow, as well as under the Chemical Species Transport tab, Transport of Diluted Species. Once we've selected those, we'll click Study, pick a time-dependent study, and move on to defining our relevant geometry. To start, I'll select a length unit of centimeters, and then for the purposes of this demo, define a simple T-channel mixer comprising two inlets and an outlet, roughly halfway between the two inlets. Once that's done, we can move on to importing our materials. We'll start by setting the fluid to be water and the boundaries of our T-channel mixer to be PDMS, a common material used in microfluidics. Water is already set for both domains. For PDMS, we can select, select it to be a boundary by going to geometric entity level, boundary, selection to all boundaries, and then deselecting our inlets, our outlet, and the inner junction. Next, under laminar flow, we'll right click, define our two inlets, as well as our outlet. We'll set the velocity at each of these to be one centimeter per second. And then the outlet will use the pressure condition of zero pressure relative to atmospheric. Once that's done, we can click on the transport diluted species tab, select dependent variables, and since we're investigating mixing, change the number of species from one to two, thus instantiating another variable C2. We can then click on transport properties and to ensure that our diluted species physics talks to our laminar flow physics, under velocity field, we'll select SPF. In this tab, you could also select the diffusion coefficient of either of your species. Now we'll define two concentration bounds. The first of which we'll set at our upper inlet, so such that any fluid that moves over this boundary condition will automatically have uh, 10 micromoles of species 1. And we'll set the second concentration bound at the second inlet, such that any fluid moving over that also has 10 micromoles of species 2. Once we've accomplished this, we can move on to mesh, select a slightly finer mesh size, build it, move on to time-dependent study, select a relevant study time period, and click Compute. Once your time-dependent study has finished running, you'll notice under the Results tab, options for velocity, pressure, and concentration. Under the Concentration tab, you can look at how the concentration of species C or C2 evolved over time, either by clicking manually through here, or if you click on the Surface sub-tab, you can click Animation in the upper right corner and Player. You can also click Cut Line 2D and define some line along the channel. Here I'm deliberately overshooting the bounds of the channel on the y-axis, but ComSol will clip that to the boundaries of our geometry. Once I've done that, you can click 1D Plot Group, click once more to insert two line graphs under that, and then 
from the Cutline 2D data set, plot the concentration of both of our species against one another. To do this under the y-axis data, you'll select C as your expression in one plot, and C2 is the expression in the other. We'll also only plot the last time point and select two solid colors for ease of visualization. The degree of overlap between these two line plots illustrates how well the fluids are mixed at some length along the channel. You can redefine the x-axis either moving it backwards or forwards along the channel to see how this region of mixing will change with length. Once you're comfortable with that, you can also go back to your transported diluted species and then redefine the diffusion coefficients of either of your species and see how that influences mixing. Here we'll run the simulation one more time. And once it's finished running, come back to our 1D plot group and observe a marked difference in the overlap between these two, as well as how the concentration of each of these species varies in relation to the wall of our channel. This concludes this video on using multiple physics in COMSOL to model the diffusive mixing of two species in a laminar flow regime. Thank you.